Life in all its wondrous diversity has always faced challenges, yet the natural world has a remarkable ability to adapt and endure. But today, a new threat emerges from the shadows, a threat not of tooth and claw, but of invisible forces that permeate our environment. These forces, often unnoticed, can silently disrupt the delicate balance within our very cells, leading to a disease we've come to know as cancer. In this series, we journey deep into the heart of this hidden world, exposing the 10 most significant environmental factors that heighten the risk of this formidable disease. From the air we breathe to the water we drink, the ground beneath our feet to the very technologies that surround us, we'll uncover the silent accomplices in this complex story. But this is not a tale of despair, but one of empowerment. For by understanding these risks, we can begin to take control, making informed choices to protect ourselves and future generations. Join us as we navigate this crucial landscape, arming ourselves with knowledge and inspiring change for a healthier, more resilient future. Our atmosphere, a delicate shroud of gases that sustains life, is under constant assault. Invisible to the naked eye, a cocktail of pollutants spewed from industrial chimneys, vehicle exhausts, and even natural sources like volcanic eruptions mingle in the air we breathe. Among these airborne adversaries are microscopic particles known as PM2, 5 and PM10. These insidious particles, smaller than the width of a human hair, penetrate deep into our respiratory system, lodging themselves in the delicate tissues of our lungs. Like termites gnawing at the foundation of a house, these particles trigger inflammation and oxidative stress, slowly eroding the body's defenses. Over time, this chronic irritation can disrupt the intricate dance of cell division, paving the way for uncontrolled growth, the hallmark of cancer. While all of us are vulnerable to the insidious effects of air pollution, those living in densely populated urban areas or near industrial zones face the greatest risk. But the reach of these airborne toxins extends far beyond their source carried by winds across continents, impacting even the most remote corners of the globe. The consequences of prolonged exposure to air pollution are far-reaching, extending beyond the respiratory system. Studies have revealed a disturbing link between air pollution and a range of cancers including lung, bladder and even breast cancer. The World Health Organization estimates that air pollution contributes to millions of premature deaths annually, making it one of the most significant environmental threats to human health. Children with their developing lungs and immune systems are particularly susceptible to the dangers of polluted air. But the story doesn't end there. Air pollution's reach extends beyond human health, impacting the delicate balance of our planet. These airborne pollutants contribute to climate change, acid rain and damage to crops and forests, further jeopardising the health of our planet. However, even in the face of these daunting challenges, there is hope. By raising awareness, implementing stricter emission standards and transitioning to cleaner sources of energy, we can begin to clear the air and protect the health of both ourselves and our planet. From the dawn of time, the sun has been the very source of life, bathing our planet in warmth and energy. Its rays nourish our bodies with vital vitamin D and lift our spirits. Yet, hidden within its golden rays lies a spectrum of ultraviolet UV radiation. Excessive UV exposure can have dire consequences. The sun's rays can inflict damage at the cellular level. UV radiation targets our DNA, leading to mutations. These mutations can pave the way for skin cancer. UVA and UVB rays each pose unique threats. UVB rays are primarily responsible for sunburns and skin cancers. The good news is that skin cancer is preventable. By taking simple precautions, we can safely enjoy the sun. Wear protective clothing like hats and sunglasses and apply broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. Regular skin checks are essential for early detection. Embrace sun safe practices to enjoy the sun's benefits while protecting yourself. The silent threat, radon gas. Beneath the very ground we walk on, a hidden danger often lurks unseen. Radon, a radioactive gas, emanates naturally from the Earth's crust. It seeps up through the soil and can find its way into our homes, often accumulating in basements and lower floors. Colourless, odourless and tasteless, radon gas gives no warning of its presence. 
Yet prolonged exposure to this silent intruder can have dire consequences for our health. Inhaling radon allows radioactive particles to lodge in our lungs and over time this can lead to cellular damage. This cellular damage, if left unchecked, can disrupt the delicate machinery of our DNA, increasing the likelihood of errors during cell replication. Sadly, it is these errors that can pave the way for the uncontrolled growth and division of cells, the hallmark of cancer. The World Health Organization classifies radon as a group one carcinogen, meaning there is sufficient evidence to link it to cancer in humans. In fact, after smoking, radon exposure is the leading cause of lung cancer worldwide. The good news is that we are not powerless against this invisible threat. Radon testing is relatively simple and inexpensive, providing homeowners with vital information about the levels present in their living spaces. If elevated radon levels are detected, there are effective mitigation measures that can be taken. Installing a radon mitigation system, essentially a vent pipe system that draws radon gas from beneath the house and vents it outside, can significantly reduce radon levels and minimize the risk of exposure. Simple actions, such as sealing cracks in floors and walls, can also help prevent radon from entering our homes. By being proactive and taking these preventative steps, we can create safer and healthier living environments for ourselves and our families. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding the risks associated with radon exposure empowers us to take control and protect ourselves from this silent yet serious health threat. The Legacy of Asbestos, a tale of two fibres. For decades, asbestos was hailed as a wonder material. Its remarkable properties, resistance to heat, fire and even electricity made it a popular choice in construction, insulation and countless industrial applications. From towering skyscrapers to humble homes, asbestos found its way into the very fabric of our built environment. Unbeknownst to us, however, this seemingly miraculous material harboured a dark secret, one that would cast a long shadow over human health. Asbestos is not a single material, but a group of naturally occurring fibrous minerals. When disturbed, these fibres become airborne, easily inhaled deep into the lungs. Once lodged within the delicate tissues of the respiratory system, they can wreak havoc on a cellular level. The long, thin and incredibly durable nature of asbestos fibres makes them particularly insidious. Unlike other irritants that the body can naturally expel, asbestos fibres can persist in the lungs for decades, relentlessly irritating and scarring the surrounding tissues. Over time, this chronic inflammation and scarring can lead to a range of serious respiratory illnesses, including asbestosis, a debilitating lung disease characterised by shortness of breath, coughing and chest pain. But perhaps the most devastating consequence of asbestos exposure is mesothelioma, a rare and aggressive cancer that affects the lining of the lungs, heart or abdomen. Mesothelioma is directly linked to asbestos exposure and tragically there is no cure. The latency period between asbestos exposure and the development of mesothelioma can be decades long, meaning that individuals exposed to asbestos in the past may only now be experiencing the devastating health consequences. The legacy of asbestos serves as a stark reminder of the importance of understanding the potential long-term health effects of the materials we use. It is a cautionary tale that underscores the need for stringent safety regulations and ongoing research to protect ourselves from the hidden dangers that may lurk within our environment. The chemical cocktail pesticides and our health. In our quest to feed a growing planet, we have turned to technology and innovation to enhance agricultural productivity. Pesticides, chemicals designed to protect crops from insects, weeds and other pests, have played a pivotal role in boosting food production and ensuring global food security. However, this increased agricultural output has come at a cost. The widespread use of pesticides has raised concerns about their potential impact on human health, particularly the possibility of increased cancer risk. Pesticides work by targeting specific biological processes in pests, disrupting their growth, development or reproductive systems. Unfortunately, some of these same mechanisms can also affect human cells, potentially interfering with our own delicate biological processes. While the short-term effects of pesticide exposure are well documented, 
ranging from skin irritation to respiratory problems, the long-term consequences, particularly their potential role in cancer development, are still being investigated. Research into the link between pesticide exposure and cancer is complex and ongoing. Some studies have shown a correlation between exposure to certain types of pesticides and an increased risk of developing specific cancers such as leukemia, lymphoma and cancers of the brain, prostate and breast. However, it is important to note that correlation does not equal causation. Establishing a definitive causal link between pesticide exposure and cancer is challenging as many factors can influence an individual's risk of developing the disease. The debate surrounding the safety of pesticides is likely to continue as scientists strive to unravel the complex interplay between environmental exposures, genetic predisposition and cancer development. In the meantime, it is prudent to minimise our exposure to pesticides by choosing organic produce whenever possible, washing fruits and vegetables thoroughly, and supporting sustainable agricultural practices that reduce our reliance on chemical inputs. Industrial chemicals. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, life on Earth is remarkably resilient. Yet even as nature finds its balance, a new threat emerges from within our own advancements. Industrial chemicals, while essential for progress, cast a long shadow, a silent threat to the very essence of life. Some of these substances lurking in our factories, our products and even our homes have been identified as potential harbingers of disease. Benzene, a chemical with a sweet aromatic odour, is a key component in the production of plastics, resins and synthetic fibres. However, this versatile compound is also a known carcinogen linked to leukaemia and other cancers of the blood. Formaldehyde, another ubiquitous chemical used in building materials and household products, poses similar risks. Exposure to formaldehyde has been associated with an increased incidence of cancers of the nose, throat and nasal cavity. The invisible nature of these chemical threats makes them all the more insidious. Often it is through prolonged and unnoticed exposure that these substances exert their harmful effects. But awareness is our first line of defence. Understanding the potential risks associated with industrial chemicals allows us to make informed choices. Supporting stricter regulations and promoting safer alternatives are crucial steps in mitigating the risks posed by these chemicals. Furthermore, advocating for transparency in product labelling empowers individuals to make conscious decisions about the products they bring into their homes and lives. Ultimately, protecting ourselves from the insidious effects of industrial chemicals requires a collective effort, a shared responsibility for the health of our planet and future generations. For in the intricate web of life, the well-being of all creatures, great and small, is inextricably linked to the choices we make today. Secondhand smoke. The air we breathe, essential for life, can also be a conduit for harm. Secondhand smoke, a cocktail of over 7,000 chemicals, many of which are known carcinogens, is a stark reminder of this delicate balance. This invisible threat, a byproduct of burning tobacco products, doesn't discriminate between smoker and bystander. It lingers in homes, workplaces and public spaces, posing a significant health risk to all who inhale it. While smokers subject themselves to the direct consequences of their choices, those around them, especially children, are often the unwitting victims of this silent killer. Their developing lungs, more vulnerable to the damaging effects of tobacco smoke, are particularly susceptible to its carcinogenic effects. Secondhand smoke exposure increases the risk of a range of respiratory illnesses, from asthma to bronchitis, and significantly elevates the likelihood of developing lung cancer even brief exposures can have lasting consequences, underscoring the importance of smoke-free environments. Fortunately, the dangers of secondhand smoke are increasingly recognised, leading to a global movement towards smoke-free environments. Public awareness campaigns and stricter regulations have played a pivotal role in shifting social norms and protecting the health of non-smokers. Many countries have implemented comprehensive smoke-free laws in public places, workplaces and even private vehicles significantly reducing exposure to second-hand smoke. These measures have not only resulted in a decline in smoking rates, but have also led to a measurable improvement in air quality and public health.
The fight against secondhand smoke serves as a powerful reminder of the positive impact that collective action can have on safeguarding our well-being. By creating smoke-free environments, we protect not only ourselves but also future generations, ensuring that the air we breathe is a source of life, not disease. It is a testament to our ability to adapt, evolve and create a healthier future for all. Processed foods. The modern world, for all its wonders, presents us with a unique dilemma, a paradox of abundance and hidden dangers. Our relationship with food, once dictated by the rhythms of nature, has undergone a profound transformation. Processed foods, a staple of our fast-paced lives, offer convenience but often come at a cost. While not all processed foods are detrimental to our health, many harbour ingredients with potential long-term consequences. Preservatives designed to extend shelf life and artificial sweeteners intended to enhance flavour are among the additives that have come under scrutiny. Studies suggest that certain preservatives, such as nitrates and nitrites commonly found in processed meats, may increase the risk of certain cancers. Artificial sweeteners, while often marketed as healthier alternatives to sugar, have also raised concerns with some studies linking them to an increased risk of bladder cancer. The complexities of modern food production underscore the importance of making informed choices about what we consume. Reading food labels carefully, understanding the ingredients and being mindful of portion sizes are crucial steps in navigating the nutritional landscape. Opting for fresh whole foods whenever possible remains the cornerstone of a healthy diet. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean protein sources provide essential nutrients without the added burden of potentially harmful additives. Moderation is key even when indulging in processed foods. Being aware of the potential risks allows us to make conscious choices that prioritise our long-term health and well-being. Ultimately, our relationship with food is a reflection of our relationship with the natural world. By choosing wisely, we nourish not only our bodies, but also our connection to the planet that sustains us. Contaminated water. Water, the elixir of life, sustains all living things on our planet. But what happens when this precious resource becomes tainted with unseen dangers? Across the globe, sources of water are under threat from pollutants with long-term effects on human health. Industrial waste, agricultural runoff and untreated sewage often find their way into our water sources. These contaminants can include heavy metals, pesticides and pharmaceutical byproducts. They infiltrate water systems, ending up in homes and bodies of unsuspecting individuals. The consequences of consuming contaminated water can be dire. Long-term exposure to pollutants has been linked to health problems, including cancer. The fight against water contamination is a global challenge. Protecting our water sources from pollution is paramount. Stricter regulations, sustainable practices and advanced treatment facilities are crucial. We, as individuals, also have a role to play in safeguarding our water. Access to clean and safe drinking water is a fundamental human right. The choices we make today will shape the future of our planet and the health of generations to come. Electromagnetic fields. We live in a world increasingly reliant on technology. Every day we are bathed in a sea of invisible waves from our mobile phones, Wi-Fi routers and other devices. These electromagnetic fields, or EMFs, are an inescapable part of modern life. While low-level EMF exposure is generally considered safe, concerns exist about prolonged exposure. EMFs can interact with biological systems, potentially influencing cellular processes. Research into the link between EMF exposure and cancer risk is ongoing. Some studies suggest a possible association with increased cancer risk, but findings are inconsistent. Adopting a precautionary approach to EMF exposure is prudent. Simple measures can minimise potential risks without drastically altering our lifestyles. Keeping devices at a safe distance, especially during sleep, is a good start. Opting for wired connections over wireless ones can help reduce exposure. Being mindful of exposure from various sources, including power lines and cell towers, is important. By staying informed and adopting reasonable precautions, 
we can navigate the electromagnetic age safely. A balanced approach that acknowledges both the benefits and potential risks of technology is key. From the air we breathe to the water we drink and the invisible forces that surround us, our environment plays a profound role in shaping our health. While the complexities of cancer development are vast and multifaceted, understanding the environmental factors that can increase our risk empowers us to make informed choices. Thank you for watching. Remember, awareness is the first step towards prevention. Stay informed, stay safe. Until next time, subscribe for more health and wellness tips.